There's no denying it. These clean, calm and tidy streets of Rwanda's capital do not fit the stereotypical image of an African city. No sign of the polluted, chaotic streets associated with some of its urban neighbours. The key to cleaning up this city has been getting everyone to do their bit. Keeping our streets clean, our homesteads clean, ourselves clean, is not something we need to go out looking for resources. It's something we have within ourselves. So why do not start from that? It becomes a culture. It becomes a way of life. Four years after genocide laid waste to Kigali, the city began the long march to restore its sense of order. In the years that followed, they targeted garbage collection, beautified the streets, and banned the use of plastic bags. In private enterprise, men like Paul Mbaregea saw an opportunity in the city's needs. I started the company in, in, in 1999. It was a challenge for every Rwandan to see what to do and to know what to do. So it was in that process of changing the country and trying also to recover what we, we lost during the, the genocide. So there was uh, so many problems, including waste management. So I say, why not start by waste? The doctrine was born. Being clean is crucial to progress. We cannot talk about development of this country when we don't take care of the cleanliness. You see, some people, they think when you are poor, maybe you don't have the right to all those things. I think even if Rwanda is not a rich country, we have a vision. We want to be clean, we want to be rich. So one of those things is to start to manage better our resources. The heart of the program is a city-wide clean-up day. It's compulsory. On the last Saturday of each month, business stops and everyone, including the president, meets for Umuganda, a day of community work and discussion. Today, the new mayor of Kigali is working with local youth groups. This collective spirit of participation has its roots in the country's recovery from civil war. It may seem out of place to talk about cleaning streets after a city's faced genocide, but that ignores the point. Keeping Kigali clean means the population working together. And that means building the community. After genocide, the fabric of the society was completely destroyed. You have people, somebody living here, he's a survivor, another one is a, maybe a killer, you don't know. Through this community work, you know he's your neighbor. And also, maybe you build this ownership, this Rwanda is for us. When he speaks, the mayor keeps his message simple. Each one of us is responsible for building our city. Rwandans now have chosen to put their effort together because we realize that there is no reason of divisionism. We are all Rwandans. United, we are achievers. And this Umuganda is one of the testimony on that. We in Rwanda, we have had to overcome many odds, many challenges, and we've been so lucky, I should say, you know, very unlucky on one hand because of the problems we have faced in the past, but on the other hand, very lucky in a sense that having survived this and gone over it, and it creates a new spirit.
Here in Kigali, they've gone right back to basics. Cleanliness may be next to godliness, but it's also a way to build a future city.